Hey there guys, it's Metro and we're back. We are back after a long break there. We had a um, nice little relaxing holiday there. Didn't really do anything too crazy in the past. We would have had a much bigger weekend and I'd probably still be doing that, but figured I'll come back today. There's some two, some two things I want to do here with this last two days of this reset. Uh, and one of them is get this cash open and get another set of keys done on my Paladin. And, um, hopefully get some freaking intellect gear. Because I still don't have intellect gear in most, the, the, all the important slots. Uh, but I did make the legendary. I played probably Wednesday night. I don't remember when, but yeah. I got the legendary shock barrier. So we'll try that out too. And then I also used some of this free time too. Level my shaman. So if you haven't heard me talk about this character, it's a character I really wanted to play. I really want to play Resto. But on top of that, I really want to play Enhance and not in the way you might expect. I want to play two-handed Enhancement Shaman, which is not fully supported by Blizzard, but it is uh, very possible. Okay, And I've been testing it out a lot. And it's been... I really enjoy it. Let's put it that way. So we're going to... Tomorrow, we're going to do our first Torghast Challenge stream. First one, it's something I will definitely be doing a lot this expansion, but probably not. <laughs> Didn't expect to be doing it so early, but I just want to see how it feels and how it plays. And the main reason I want to do it is because I really want to get um, Soul Ash this week so I could eventually make the legendary. That character, uh, Shaman, Enhancement Shaman, has one extremely powerful legendary that I think would make two-handed even more powerful and even more, more interesting, at least. Um, so that's that. We're going to check that out tomorrow. And then, don't know what I'll do... Tonight and maybe tomorrow night, potentially nothing. Um, I'm still kind of in holiday mode, so I feel like I'm still not entirely interested in uh, doing anything crazy right now. But we'll be back to it one way or the other Tuesday, and um, I'm sure we'll have a lot to do next week. So let's see. We gotta open this cash here. Where's this thing at? It's in the halls of holding. It's this one, yeah. Here it is. So we're gonna open the cash. Hey, Sal Luck, welcome. Open the cache, then we're going to do whatever key we get. We'll see. I, I really try to... I'm trying to swerve Grievous, honestly. So we'll see what happens. So we should have a couple options in here. I think only going to be two. Two O's. Oh, perfect. A weapon. That's huge. Okay. No thought needed. We take the weapon. 750 Stygia, though. That's interesting. But anyway, yeah, we definitely take the weapon. And we got a three. Perfect. Okay, this is all awesome. 207 weapon. Very good. So we'll keep that strength weapon, but... Okay, 184. That's, that's pretty interesting. That's the item level you would have had from zeros, so... Pretty good. All right, so let's, uh, let's do my key. Uh, we'll get started. It is pretty late, too, guys, in case you're not aware. I started the stream very late. I was kind of like, ah, should I do it? Should I not? But I figure I, I want to do this. I want to get set up for tomorrow, so might as well go back into it here. The other side. Let's see. Start group. It's been a while since I've done a... What's this? Why is there so many on the list? I don't, I'm confused. It'll be interesting to see who's signing up to threes still, but I'm sure there'll be some people. Yeah, so we'll check out this Shock Barrier Legendary. I don't know, should I get something to track it? Maybe I should. Does it extend or just refresh? Oh, refresh to 525. Wait, every six seconds, what does that mean? Okay, let's add it. That's just what it's called, right? And it's a voodoo thing, obviously. Uh, let's see. Glimmer of light. We're not using that anymore, technically. Yeah, that seems fun. All right, cool. So we got Rap Pala, 
We definitely need some uh, some bloodlust and shit. Happy to see you back. Hey, Matthew, you have a good time? Yeah, dude, holidays are always good, no matter what, even if they're in these weird <laughs> states that they're in this year. But Veerheart, what's up, buddy? Hey there, Metro in chat. How's it going? Bada bada. What's up? Bada bada. What's up? Bada bada. Feels good to be back, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's going good, man. It's going good. We'll see how I feel after today, though, of course. Doing some low keys today. So we need lust. And then a tank. It's the only thing that kind of sucks about Paladin. They don't really bring any major utility to the group. They bring a lot of good stuff. I like having them, but you still need battle reses and lusts. I haven't updated the add-ons today. So hopefully everybody's now seen the shit going on with MDT. I, I don't know. Has there been any updates? Like, let's see if this dude's tweeted anything. Uh... I just don't know what to say about that. No, still nothing since Christmas. Uh, no lusts, huh? Want me to bring lust? What do you mean? Is there any way to get the add-on to work without paying? Yeah, there's like, what the hell? What's going on there? Yeah, there's like dozens of people who have already like forked it or whatever you call that. Or they like take a version of it and then make edits to that version as a new bro project. You can find those all over the place. No, we don't want drums. We want proper lust. Hunter's a little shaky on that. I could come on my hunter. Nah, don't worry about it, man. I'd rather not get carried today if possible. Uh, okay. Well, that gets from Azralon, too, so no way. There we go, Shaman. Camel Totems. I like that name. Any link or something that can help me find it? Uh, I mean, sure. I mean, you could just Google, dude. Like, it's not... <laughs> it's not. I could Google, too, and give you a link, but there's nothing special about it. Just look for... Look up any of these conversations. Um, is it different in the EU? As it seems, I can just use my add-on like normal. If you haven't downloaded it yet, then yeah, it still works, but. Um, most WoW streamers I watch on Twitch have been asked about MDT situation by random people. Most prefer not to comment, and I know Sloop put out a Twitter response about Nagi. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I preferred to comment because it was too big of a deal. Not everybody's involved in it the way I am. So what are we doing? The other side. Here we go. What well, eye level is your paladin? 184. MDT change broke my weak or Oh, really? How so? It relied on the count from that add-on. Huh. They're on the same platform and into 20 top 20 guilds, so a bit harder for them perhaps to get involved. Hopefully not. Hopefully everybody's willing to stand up for themselves if they need to. Anyway, um, are you going to consider using Keystone Guru for your routes? I've looked at it, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. I don't like it at all. The user interface is kind of garbage, to be honest. I don't understand what they're up to. It feels like a fucking phishing site where they're like, Hey, hey, log in. Why don't you log in? It's like, register and start planning. It's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, no, nah, I'm not really a big fan of that, that website at all. Considering they still have all the BFA shit there, it's like, maybe time to take this serious now, huh? It's like super, lo like, lags and slow and... 
not very intuitive either. We'll be using the add-ons in game. I love the fact that it is out of game though, for sure. But it should just they should just try to make the exact same fucking thing that's in game. A lot of paladins. I feel like every time I play this character, we get paladin tanks. That's strange. All right. So anyway, we have a uh, full group. Couple paladins. We got two battle reses and two lust or one lust, so we should be good. Default UI is crazy. Any reason you're sticking with it opposed to an add-on? There is actually, yeah. The main reason is um, in Wrath, I, I became the GM of a raiding guild for the first time in my life. And we raided all through Nax, and I was very uh, satisfied with what happened in that tier. And then Old War came out. And there was a lot of problems with Old War technically anyway, but the main issue I had was... Um, my UI, I was using like bartender or whatever they were called at the time to like completely customize everything on the screen. None of the add-ons worked for days. So I'm sitting there like completely unable to play, like almost like, you know, useless. And the guild's like imploding and I'm stressed out and it's causing very bad things. And honestly, I like the guild like actually like split up at in old or and i i take like response i i blame bartender for that honestly you know what i mean it's pretty pretty ridiculous but anyway um hey jix what's up uh did you get an in weapon i did actually i got one in the chest so that's pretty good but i still have a uh two strength trinkets on so we'll see what level is the key? It's a three right now. I'm surprised he worked on it during the world first race at all. You think he'd know... Right, that's what I'm saying. You'd think there would have been somebody else working on it. I don't really get this whole thing. Are you using Grid 2? No, I'm using Voodoo. Uh, what else? Hope you enjoyed Christmas. Kapir, thanks, man. Default UI is a banger. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, default UI is... It's pretty customizable, too, so... Um... I have zero issues with it now, but I'm just saying, uh, I don't think, like, cosmetic changes to your game are worth it, you know what I mean? Because if you get really hooked on them, and then you can't, like, comfortably play the game afterwards, um... <coughs> then it's just not, like, why bother, you know what I mean? If you cared, I bet Sarah could give you a 200 in trinket. Maybe after today, I don't really care, though, yeah. We're just, just having fun right now with this. But yeah, I should probably get that trinket for sure. It would definitely be better than what I'm wearing. This, I should probably just uninstall this add-on, honestly. Sure, I'm actually in the right spec here. Doesn't feel right. All right, here we go. First key in three days. Yeah, three days. Hi, Lord. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Hey, size. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. <laughs> I should tell you, you got a bunch of compliments on your uh, ability to clearly articulate mechanical awareness elements while we were doing those keys together on those videos I published. Yeah, there's shock barrier hitting everybody. That's pretty badass. You got a lot of views on those dungeon vids coming off the Nagi one. <laughs> yeah. Fucking situation. Anyway, um. And throw shade at Jigs while doing it. I keep forgetting that flashlight is no longer like the big heal now. Uh, did you, did you do that 14 off stream? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Christmas Eve, 
only had like an hour and a half to play, so we did those three keys and that was it. Hey Metro, do you usually pull all four mobs in the Halls of Atonement when doing the Shard of Halkius? It depends, like, there's no need to, but it's obviously a good idea if you have all, like, you know, big CDs and shit. No? Depends on a few things. Uh, what else? Uh, I've been using add-ons since vanilla. I never had issues where I can't play. However, I can still play with default UI. Any add-ons are frowned on during early alpha, so you have to use default. Yeah, that's my point. It's like, I don't want to get, you know... I don't want to get, like, used to add-ons when I can't use them always, so... It's just, I don't find it worth it. That's my reason. I'm not saying it's a good reason, but that is... That is mine. There are many like it, but that is mine. I still have that 14 hall, sweet. Yeah, what are you guys doing tonight, anything? Maybe we get together, maybe we do a little keystone. Maybe uh, you put your key in that little, that little pedestal there and we attack mobs during the key. I told Metro I'd say a ram, but he prefers spending time with his family on Christmas to doing keys with me. <laughs> yeah, it is weird, right? Like, I was like literally playing WoW f every waking hour for five weeks straight and then three days off and it feels like I've quit the game. Hon honestly, that's what I felt like. I was like dealing with all kinds of weird emotions like last night. I'm like, man, I feel like I quit this game. Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> but no, we're good. Anyway, um, thanks a lot, man. I was almost, was almost to quit WoW. <laughs> anyway, lots of BlizzCon winners, competitors use default UI since they can't use add-ons. I just don't think it's worth it, you know what I mean? For, like, cosmetic shit, it's just not needed. You left us. Yeah, that's what I felt like, yeah. Felt like I had abandoned the team. But we're back. They call it withdrawals. Yeah, that's what it feels like, honestly. <laughs> I just want to say thanks for all the work you put in. A new sub and your spreadsheets make learning routes crazy easy. I'm really glad to hear that, yeah. I spent a lot of time on getting that info out there, so I'm glad that it's helping people. Uh, community currently getting burned on an add-on pretty bad, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully uh, that'll just resolve itself, because I still don't really know what to do. I wanted to make a couple of videos updating some routes and some dungeon stuff, but I just I don't feel comfortable doing that without MDT, so... Uh, okay, well, you can't do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just don't really know what to do. Kind of just waiting to see what happens before I make these videos. I still need to do more Plague Falls to, like, hopefully properly understand what's even going on in there now. Hey, really, really don't want to be pulling those. Uh, your info videos and everything have been so helpful. Sweet man, John. Glad to see you, buddy. <clears throat> Uh, where can I find your Mythic Plus routes? I have an entire video on the topic. It's um, the uh, featured video on the channel, so it should be very hard to miss it. But just be aware that the add-on MDT that I use for it is undergoing some drama currently. So, Hey, Arno, what's up, buddy? Yo, Arno, dude, I gotta tell you, man, I did a binge last night. I watched all of your Japan videos. All your Japanese videos, sorry. Sound like such a racist when I say stupid shit like that. Anyway, I watched them all, and honestly, I didn't realize how good they were until I started watching them again. I think the last time I looked at them, I was just kind of like, oh man, I wish you were still making Pokemon videos. But now it's like, wow, you really put a lot of effort into these. And you explain them, you explain the topics so well. I feel like I learned a little bit of Japanese just from watching them. I didn't really pay attention to them, but just kind of had them on in the background. They're very well made, dude. I hope that it'll work out for you. That Weekor is pretty, but too small to see. Well, which one is that? All 
I did it yesterday on a five. Seemed like if you pulled pretty linear on the right up to the first boss, um, you hit 20 during the slime pull. But I hadn't pulled the two big slimes surrounding the guy. Yeah, that's not going to work. You need it for the first boss for sure. Okay, cool. See you later. Uh, cool, great to hear. I'm just hoping for viewer activity to pick up. I feel like I got quality stuff. Yeah, it's tough. I don't know, like, I wouldn't know where to start with trying to promote something like that, you know what I'm saying? But the views on the old videos are quite good, considering you didn't do anything special to promote them, right? I definitely like that, um, that Pokemon thing you did, though. That was the best out of all the videos, for sure. Damn, key looking good. <laughs> Holy, feels weird. Why? Hope you had a Merry Christmas, Metro. I did, thank you. Rogue Shroud makes Plague Start so much better. Yeah, we're trying to make routes that don't involve rogues, though. Looks like you got a tank over. You got a tank over Metro, haha. Haha. Oh my god. Please stop this fucking nonsense. Anyway, um, that's it. So we're doing a two now, I guess. Did Evil Riri get smacked down and instantly leave? Yeah. Well, he, I don't know. He's probably feeling victimized before because I called him out. Oh, thanks. But he is bad, so he should feel bad. I think he should use that feeling to get better, not just be a coward and don't do anything. Oh, wait, what is this? It's an on-use trinket? Well, I'm not using that, but... Cool, thank you very much for that. Uh, it's difficult to top people up when they are ha when they all have hello health, is it? See, that's why I love this uh, Divine Toll situation, man. That is such a fun spell to have. Is that now what people are taking as Paladin? It seems like fucking super powerful, honestly. And I still don't... I mean, I'm, I'm still like wearing really shit gear, so... Can't even imagine what it would be like. See, this goddamn route thing on this Keystone Guru website is still not done loading. It's just never going to load, huh? It's fucked. It's so bad without it. Oh, yeah. What what other options are there? I mean, obviously, um, the Venthyr one probably is just absolute garbage. Um, the Night Fae is cool, but I don't think it'd be very good. It says healer. It'd probably be fine for raids, I guess, but... The Necrolord one is garbage, like, terrible, so... It's really the only option, if you ask me. Well, I invited a Quel'Thalas player without realizing, so that's our quota for the day. Get some battle reses. Hey, Velocity, what's up, buddy? How's everybody doing? How's everybody's holiday? Okay, we'll invite all the all the guys who can battle res. Two DKs, two battle reses, one lost. That sounds right to me. Uh, why are you pugging low keys? Because I'm a shitter. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm now at least wearing some gear, but thanks to Sarah and also thanks to the cash, I do have some intellect gear on. But uh, as of the start of the stream, we had multiple pieces that did not have intellect on. So, but now that we got the weapon, that's huge. Should make it a lot easier. And I actually have a, a legendary now too, so we'll start progressing, I'd assume, but I don't know. So far, not good. Just uh, disbanded a three. Uh, pretty good. 
Uh, oh, thank you for all your rots, by the way. Sweet man, my pleasure. Truly my pleasure. Hope this MDT thing gets resolved so we can get back to work on that. Andrew, hey Metro, love your videos. Just wanted to ask, do you have a route for Necrotic Wake? Yeah, yeah in the, the route video, I have one for each dungeon. The only one that's not valid right now is Plague Fall, just because it's been the fucking dungeon's been changed. But I'm very satisfied with that Necrotic Wake route. Um, a friend of mine was trying to tell me about a different option, but I, I haven't seen it yet. So for now, that seems like a really, really comfortable play uh, for like a low coordination group. It's a little awkward. It's a little weird pulling mobs that, you know, some of the mobs are pretty difficult at times, but it's all worth it. The main thing about that route is not getting prideful in the middle of the gauntlet at the end. And maybe it won't be as big of a deal as I'm making it, but I, that just does not sound good at all, especially on a, a week like this week with Grievous. And the problem is like the mobs are like, they come out when they want. So like you could literally be standing there waiting for the, the dude to come out and then the mobs will aggro and then the dude will, tool, he'll, he'll coalesce. So you got to like, you know, turn around and make sure it's just like hectic, very hectic, very, infinitely more complicated than anything else in that dungeon. If that happens, in my opinion. Um, so we'll see. Anyway. Hey Metro. Hope you had a good Christmas and relaxed during your time off. Yeah, it was nice. Honestly, very nice holiday, man. Christmas is always my favorite day of the year. This year was very weird. Just because COVID and everything, but it's uh, just so great to, to see, um, you know, the family and everything. Get to give gifts and receive gifts. Oh, I got some nice hats, too. Oh, you guys are going to love these hats. I should have put one on. I, I ordered, there's some more coming, too, because the delays and shit were all fucked up with the holidays here. But uh, you guys are going to love this hat. I, I'm spoiling it a little bit, but you guys are going to love this hat. Anyway, considering burning my Twitch Prime sub on Nogging Stream, if some similar quality add-on doesn't pop up real quick, I'm not using it anyway. Uh, it's up to you, man. If you like Noggy and you want to support him, feel free. But that dude's going through a lot right now, so I would just hang on. Hang on tight. Let's let it ride out. What's up, man? Did you have an amazing Christmas? Chris, what's up, buddy? Yeah, I did. I did. I did for sure. It was a really good, relaxing Christmas. Got to see family and stuff that I don't normally get to see. And uh, even though it's very weird because of COVID, it was nice. I watched Wonder Woman with my parents the other night as well. It was, I don't know if anybody saw it. A lot of people don't seem to like it, but I was pretty satisfied with it. I really like DC. I'm a huge fan of DC, so I'm glad to see them on their feet. Cannot wait to watch the Justice League redo or whatever. And uh, very eager to see what the future holds. I feel like the Wonder Woman film could have been so much better if it did have Justice League to come off of, you know? Or to lead up to, at least. Because obviously that's a prequel to all that. But Oh, well. Spooky, what's up? What's up, bada bada? How's it going, ma'am? How's it going? It's going good. How about you? So, guys, if you guys are just joining us, we talked about this at the start, but... Um, I got a few things out of my paladin this week, got legendary, etc. I got some, some more gear, thanks to Sarah and others. Uh, but also, um, I, I leveled my shaman, so my shaman is now 60. And tomorrow, we're going to do our first Torghast challenge. Uh, we're going to do two-handed enhancement climbing Torghast. So, I already did floor one just to test it. Worked perfectly well. Uh, and then we will be in the... Uh, higher floors hopefully tomorrow so hopefully that'll be fun to watch we'll see not exactly sure but uh what's going on here anyway um don't do this to me if you're playing holy pally instead of blood dk i'll have to try holy on my paladin <laughs> holy is very fun right now man um uh, i can't wait to see venom 2 that's on the top of my list with thor love and thunder oh sweet and loki I feel bad for him. Obviously, he's got a lot going on, but I'm going to feel pretty bad if this dude ends up offing himself due to the community. It, it's a very real concern right now, guys. So, like, I would take a minute and just relax about the add-on shit. Like, that's why we're, we're just chill. Like, I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah. Definitely want to chill on the uh, hate on the guy, I think, because, yeah, I don't want to see another wreckful situation. Let's put it that way, man.
Anyway, I think you can out DPS to DPS is holy. Oh, certainly, yeah. Uh, that's nice. I got some nice stuff for my cat for Christmas. Lots of catnip and toys. Nice. Interesting to hear about the add-on situation. Gamers sure can be pass passionate. Yeah, did you see what happened with that? That's pretty wild. Where is this person? Just fucking get somebody who speaks English. Anyway, uh, I had a weird pause during the Shadowlands release, and I don't know what to level to 60. Any recommendations? Nah, only recommendation I can give you is find something that you like, you know? Don't let somebody else tell you what to play. Hey, Andrew. Andre. Andre? Sorry. Andrew. Andre. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Fumbling. Fumbling the words there. What is fucking going on here? I don't I keep pressing back, I guess, instead of list the group for some reason. Patrick. Hey, just found you through your Mythic Plus Prideful Route video. I really like that video. Thanks for all the hard work. Uh, sweet, man. I'm glad to hear that. If you have any questions, well, let me know. This sword doesn't really match the transmog, but I like the way it looks. Happen to be a Star Wars fan? Nah. Not really. How low of keys are you looking? Just doing my own key today. Like, probably won't get it very high at this point. I've been going for 33 minutes and we already had... One fucking loser leave in the middle of the key and another uh, group to span because the tank doesn't know he's a tank. Pug life? Nah, just low key life. So I got my uncle, uh, my uncle's like a big golfer. He's been like a very accomplished golfer his whole life. Won a lot of local tournaments and stuff. Um, but he's like, you know, in financial straits right now because his wife lost her job to COVID and it's not, not it doesn't seem like it's coming back. She keeps waiting for it to come back. It's not coming back. So um, anyway, he's been wanting to get new clubs. So I bought him a $100 gift card to Callaway. Which is like, you know, a lot of money. Like, it's, we don't normally exchange gifts at all, let's put it that way. So, I, it was a pretty big, uh, I, I thought it was a pretty big deal. And he was like, so, so happy. That's like Christmas in a nutshell for me. It's like, man, that was just a great moment. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff doesn't happen every day. You know? <laughs> Feels good. So, I, I appreciate, you know, all the donations and stuff because if it wasn't for the generosity I've received on stream, I couldn't really afford to do that. So, it was awesome to be able to say, like, yo, people were so generous this last month. Uh, I was able to uh, be really generous back to my uncle. It felt, felt really good. But 
The whole point of Christmas. Yeah, it's just being happy, right? Hey, Binsky, what's up, buddy? Little pout in action? Yeah, getting a little pout on going there today. I guess, I don't know. At this point... So no, there's no tanks playing, I guess. Are you playing on US or EU? US, yeah. US. Fire Tree Horde US. I uh, feel like walking through Holy Pally heals a bit. I play prop, but I've been tempted to try healing. Walking through, what do you mean? You mean like me explaining it to you? Uh, you do not want me to do that, dude. That is not what you want. I promise you that. I don't know shit about this spec, dude. I'm just casting heals and hitting people with flashes of light and shit. Do you let subscribers or follow add you? Uh, we have like a Patreon tier for all that, but um, truthfully, my, uh, my friend list I want to keep relatively small. But, yeah, the best way to contact me is, is through Discord. Do you want a tank? I guess at this point. <laughs> I guess at this point. Might as well. Somebody wants to come in. I'm trying to avoid, like, getting, like, hard carried today. But uh, we would like to actually do keys, so. Ah, thanks a lot, Steven. I appreciate that, ma'am. Merry Christmas to you. I right, just sign up, dude. If you wanna, if you wanna do the key, you can sign up. Your routes have saved me more than ten dollars of stress. Winking face. Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Do you play DPS at all? Uh, I played a little rat in season two. I wouldn't mind playing more of it, but in Unholy, we played a little Unholy recently, but it's just boring. I don't really like it. Uh, yeah, going from tank to a non-tank role, trying to get keys done. It's a longer wait. It shouldn't be. Just nobody doing twos is the problem. But yeah, it's um, it's definitely the the bigger thing about it. Not not playing tank is like it's hard for me not to be overly aware of what the guy's doing wrong, you know what I mean? So it's going to be difficult for me to uh to watch these mistakes like in that 3. I can't I can't watch that. You know what I mean? That's a retarded <laughs> to do that is like you just don't know anything about the dungeon, so maybe you should leave. All right, we good. Finally have a tank. Uh, oh, couldn't find you fast enough. Looks like you got one. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the gesture. The gesture. Anyway, good luck. I will probably need it. Okay, this ready check here, guys, is for the pull. This one's going to be the one. I could, I could already smell it. We are going to finish a key. Have to like listen very carefully there. I can't believe that that is still like that. I don't I guess they're not going to be, be able to fix it until next patch maybe. Key's been that bad? Well, we've only done one so far, but a guy left like in the middle of a pack for no reason. On a two, pulling this conservatively, it's like, what? What are we worried about? See that fucking damage, though, guys? It's kind of wild, huh?
Some very fun burst damage. Does that thing not do damage? The guy just ran right into that and tried to mount up and he didn't seem to take any damage or get disrupted. Holy Pally seems bad just for this week because of Spiteful. Spiteful, why would it be bad for Spiteful? I mean, it's not the best healer for anything right now, but uh, it's pretty powerful, I would say. Heroes! We ain't pals, buddy. Hate to alert you to it. Hate to tell you that fact. You're just an acquaintance, really. Oh, yeah, casting any heal at all on the beacon target gives holy power ram. It's interesting. Just kiting the ghosts. Yeah, Holy Pally is pretty good with it because they can put Consecrate down and stun them. Damage blood needs. What? And this random streamer dude, what is going on? There's some comments, I guess. Nice listening to your stream in the background, but gotta go now. Sweet buddy, thanks for stopping by. If you have any need anything from me, just let me know, my friend. <sighs> Keep not stopping these. A uh, trick question: What player you know has improved the most skill-wise? Trick question. No one, I guess, based on that preface. Shock barrier, legendary too, is just so fucking OP with this shit. Oh, is that a pant a Zandalari Necrolord Paladin? Wow. That's gotta be a rare combo. Honestly, I think prop pally holy pally is probably the worst combo in the game. This guy just takes so much fucking damage and he doesn't do anything about it. Uh, how is Super Strength for DK? Did it give you consideration of running it? No, nah, not at all. I would probably use it. This is what I would probably use it for, though. I still have yet to actually try this. I wanted to try this this week, but I never got around to it. Um, the main thing I would probably use it for would be, like, pure kiting. Like, I was thinking about, like, actually, like, just literally kiting every single pack. And then Super Strain would be very valuable. Um, but I don't... That's not my normal playstyle, and it would take me a while to get used to playing the game like that. So we'll see if I ever try it. 
I was thinking more about making the Dancing Wind Weapon legendary next and trying that instead. But I don't know if I'll do it. I'll do any of those things. Uh, what do I do if I updated my MDT and it's not working? There's a couple options out there, yes. Like man baby dungeon tools and old copies of MDT and shit. You can you can get you can work around it pretty easily, but you just have to find the find what you're looking for. Why did that just whisper him? Uh, Varius says it's the only option if you care about aggro. Right. I mean, aggro. I don't get that part, but yeah, if you need to care about aggro, then yeah, you have to use it. But that's not the only thing you care about when tanking. So I hope Nagi comes around. I just hope he's alive <laughs> in a week at this point. Um, so if I don't update MDT, it should work normally. Yeah, if you haven't updated it in the last three days, then you're good. Horia also runs with no MB classes and a Fire Mage, one of the top bursts in the game at the moment. Yeah, I mean, one way or the other, Super Strain's not going to make that big of a difference. If he's going to lose threat, it's not going to be that big of a difference. You can check the comments on Metro's video yesterday. I think someone posted some links. Yeah, no doubt. They, def they definitely did. Hey, Size. Hey, Binsky. There's uh, Binsky and Size re uh, reunited after the, uh, the doxing that he did last week. See how fucking powerful that shit is, though? It's crazy. And that's me with absolute shit gear. I can't even imagine what it would be like fully empowered. Does, sh does this barrier shit... I don't get it. It, it. it lasts the whole time, and it only absorbs a flat amount. Is that how this works? Who did what now? <laughs> you, you put them on blast, dude. You're kidding me? You don't even feel, like, bad about that? Holy fuck. That's funny. Uh, I don't think I had threat issues as well until I met very well versed and well CD used mage that started ripping threat off me. Yeah, the point is like it's not gonna change it. Like super straight doesn't actually do that much damage, so it's it's nice to say that that's a, a primary concern. But the DPS just need to wait a global or two before going nuts, and then you won't have any threat concerns. Like that that problem, I I struggle to believe that problem exists in serious keys. Like. The timer, maybe the timer gets so tight that you can't possibly have DPS managed threat. I don't get it. Threat is like a pug issue. Threat is not a real key issue, from what I've seen at least. Like if I know I'm gonna have threat problems on a pack, I just tell everybody. You know what I mean? If you're in Discord with everybody you're playing with, then what's their? Why? How could anybody ever pull threat? I don't get it. It's just fucking crazy, man. It just gets like one shot.
What legendary are you currently using? I'm using um, Brindauer's Might or whatever it's called. Well, we killed the pack at least. That's that's good. Uh, that change is in where you need to pay. Yeah, that happened before I made the video. So that's why I made the video. That's like the only reason I actually made that video because, like I said, I really don't want to do shit like that typically, but people need to be aware. Uh, I don't consistently break aggro even if I do 10 times more DPS than the tank. But even if I do, there's a lot of options you can do to not die. Shadow Mel. Well, that would be requiring alliance, unfortunately. So you can't have both. Uh, but no, yeah, I totally... Uh, I, I do feel like it's like a DPS roll, right? Like I don't, <laughs> I don't really feel like um, in serious keys, if people are having trouble with threat, that that's a tank's fault at that point. But like I understand there is a theoretical limit to how much DPS people can do. This is like a classic thing. Like if your tank cannot hold threat, then you cannot do your maximum DPS. But that's not applicable in AoE scenarios. <laughs> like that's a single target scenario, right? And you can just taunt now. In classic there was no taunt, like passive threat thing. So um it doesn't I really don't feel like this still applies to the game, honestly. Uh, if you're going to make it a paywall, might as well not make it downloadable without paying. No, that is actually against the terms of service. That he cannot do. And even this is a little sketchy. Blizzard's keeps, Blizzard keeps their add-on management very uh, loose, let's put it that way. So you people get a lot away with a lot of stuff, but... Uh, Having to like actually have an add-on directly payable is definitely not going to work. If DPS starting to blast when I'm only grouping pack, then that's making the tank's life miserable, right? How was that? Oh, that's something these mobs actually do. It's not some bug. They pull you in, I guess. That's strange. That happened to me the other day when I was on my tank. The mob snapped me to them, and I thought it was some snapping issue, but I guess it's just something that they do. Uh, the second anyone makes a free tool, his data will be worthless. Yeah, I mean, that's the point, right? How come no one's interrupting? Because it's a two, I suppose. Probably a good reason. Uh, so I'm thinking this place would be best on one lubricator, two haywire, or plus haywire. Yeah, that's what I did on the beta, and I started doing that on live servers. And what was happening was people were hiding from the haywire. Wait, what is haywire? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong mob. I'm talking about the dental drill. The first lubricator with the dental drill. And then people would be blocking or line of sighting the, uh, the dental drill. And then the cast would get off, healing everything. Haywire is line of sight. I don't know what haywire means, unfortunately. 
Hey Alex, what's up buddy? Glad to see you again, how was your holiday? Mine was great. Why do I have threat one? I got food poisoning, oh boy. Unlucker. Bad draw on that ham there. What does everybody eat for thing for Christmas? Thanksgiving everybody eats the same thing, but I feel like Christmas people have great variables. Turkey, got it, yeah. Our pally heals good, yes. They heal the target, so I think that makes them pretty good. <laughs> I just popped shit trying to heal everyone to full, and uh, I got fucking like locked out of doing so because of that RP shit. Uh, what have you been up to in your three days off? Well, most of it was spent not on the game, but in, in the game, I um, did Torghast on my Paladin and my DK. Um, I guess I probably already did tour guys. I, I don't remember when I did some of these things, but main thing was leveling that shaman, getting that thing to 60. Like we said, tomorrow we're going to be doing our first tour gas challenge run. We're two handed enhancement shaman trying to get as high in tour gas as we can. Trying to get that uh, soul ash so I can craft that legendary. This priest or holy pal? Yeah, this is holy pal. Yeah, this is the holy paladin that you're viewing right now. Metro Giga Splashed. Oh, dude, wait until you see it. when I hit you in the face with my Riptide. You're going to be drenched. Two-handed enhances the thing. No, it's not. That's why I'm doing it as a challenge run. Because it's going to be fun. Done a bunch of keys on my Resto Shaman. Feels so nice this week. Resto's really good pick this week, no doubt. Oh, like I didn't even know they could use two-handers. Yeah, they kind of can't. That's is my point. Like, they can technically, obviously, but they can't use their two main spells. But they can use everything else effectively. A couple talents still don't work and shit, but they could use effectively everything else. So it's like it's a severe playstyle challenge. Let's put it that way. But I've already done this a lot. Like I don't know. How many people saw it, but we did two-handed enhancement leveling to test crummy time on the beta, and it was, my god, the most fun. That was, like, the most fun I've ever had, leveling a character, for sure. What? A necro prop pally? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's gotta be the worst. That's up there with, like, I really, I don't know. There's some bad ones. Everybody talks about the warrior necro lord one, but honestly, it's a lot better than people say it is. Necrolord Pally, though, is not <laughs> better than people say it is. Uh, Dollar on Gaming has a great video on least played class combos. Oh, really? See, in these keys, like, you basically just, the tank is just not actually useful, like... I don't know. It sucks. Anyway, Divine Toll is just too good, yeah. Death Dew is on there? Oh, gotcha. Harry is Venter Rogue and won't press the spell. Oh, God. Fucking Harry. How do you find Holy Pally? It's on the list. You just have to make a Paladin and then you go to Holy Specialization and press Activate. See, I'm already Holy, so I can't do that now, but... I uh, got in a guild. Death 2 is actually, is actually good, though. Yeah. I mean, I'd imagine most of the things are better than people say they are one way or the other. 
Got in a guild this week and took part in my first raid. Got nine bosses done. Had to respect to Unholy from Blood, though. So my DPS was awful because I don't know Unholy. Yeah, I gotcha. Well, that's fun. What well, you're talking about, normal Nathria? I mean, do you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy it a lot, yeah. Yep, normal Nathria. Practiced my ass off with dungeons as Unholy all week. Gotcha. I don't know anything about Unholy, and I don't know anything about DPSing in raids, so... Our paths will diverge there. Starting to get the hang of this spec a lot more, though. It's definitely just like it's always been. We have to make decisions, and those decisions could really set you back if they're if they're made wrong. I definitely wish Judgment still gave Holy Power for Holy, though. I don't, not a big fan of it. Not. You enjoy the holy spec, correct, yeah. I wouldn't be playing something I didn't enjoy, right? How come you're doing twos? It's what I have. It's the best I can get right now. Uh, hey, Mark, what's up, buddy? Do you have a favorite tank to heal? I, I was holy paladin? No, I haven't, I haven't done enough yet to know that. Did you enjoy playing in holy? No, not really. I enjoyed the spec more than I thought I would, but I just don't really enjoy DPSing dungeons. It'd have to be in like a very serious group, I think, for me to be for, to, for me to find it fun. I think what most people like about DPSing in general is like the self fulfillment of, you know, dominating a big pack or something like that. But after, you know, 12 years of raid leading and however many years of tanking and healing, it, I've seen through that illusion. You know what I mean? Like, that is not what it looks like it is. So it's hard for me to care about it. Like, oh, great, I top damage on the pack, but I didn't do, I didn't interrupt or use my utility properly. You know what I mean? Like, it's like not what it looks like it is, so it doesn't really appeal to me, I guess. What add-on are you using to make the damage look like classic? It's called classic floating combat text, yeah. Um, melee DPS this week is a lot of stress, so yeah, I guess that's true this week, huh? Didn't realize I even had that on me for some reason. It is kind of crazy how fast stuff dies in a 2, though. I mean, I think we do have good damage. I saw, like, some pretty high numbers at times. Anyway, I enjoy tanking more than DPS. Oh, yeah, me too. Not even close. I just dislike melee DPS and PvE. Oh, really? Yeah, that's another. Maybe if I played, like, a hunter or some ranged... It's actually like considering taking another look at Fire Mage. I didn't like them at all in BFA, but now that they're not so like weird gear combo dependent things, so maybe it'd be it'd be fun. I played a lot of Mage and Mop. Alex will recall. I'm behind on the unholy combo. Oh really? Elemental. Oh yeah, LE2. 
Don't think I, I don't know, I just, Enhance is just so interesting. It's annoying as a non tank. Um, welcome back, fast food express. Uh, I thought fire majors would fall off after BFA because of corruption, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, they, they got reworked and now they're strong again, you know? I mean, they're certainly not like they were in BFA, I don't think, but. Yeah, it's still very good. Oh yeah, we only have 93%. He's going to make the uh, new mistake here of pulling all these and then we're going to end up probably wiping. Here they come. Uh, yeah, here we go. Lots. Uh, it doesn't pull that shit, though, I guess. So that's better than I thought it was going to be. comes mommy bird <laughs> yeah looks like we'll be all right that's still not enough I think actually probably want to make sure before you pull any more why would you fucking do that honestly that probably is enough actually it's not okay Maybe he was sure. Give him too little credit. Well, we have count now. Good start. Looks like double upgrades off the table now. <laughs> Kind of crazy. You know, I always pick the slowest classes, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Blood DK and Paladin, man. Like, come on. Pick something, man, that's got a little mobility. Why, why don't I like Monk, man? I don't know. Why aren't you playing Glimmer build? Because I like this spell far too much. Beacon of Virtue, way too fun. Beacon of Virtue with uh, Divine Toll is just awesome. I'm willing to bet someone goes in the wrong portal. Oh, 100%, yeah. See, those guys just picked the same thing, but because they... Uh, Okay, I was gonna <laughs> look at everybody keeps picking the same ones. This guy doesn't actually seem to want to do the fight properly. Alright, me and the tank are going to the right, yeah.
I do love that uh, Hammer of Wrath, though, situation. That's pretty cool. Wow, that died fast. That was a waste of wings. Why is that guy so slow? Oh, he's got the trinket on. It's a weird usage of that. Is this a, is, is, what is this game? What do you mean? You don't know what the game you're watching is? That's scary. Why is this guy taking so much fucking damage? Oh, we got. Oh my god. The DK got hit by the tank mechanic somehow. What is happening right now? I'm so fucking confused. What the fuck just happened? Why did we just get slaughtered all of a sudden? Anyway, uh, any suggestion of MMORPG stream, I can try. Uh, was there no melee in range? I don't know. It didn't look like there wasn't. Why are you still alive? Tank got out of melee range. I appreciate your not tank for this, and you'd be able to carry this as pro. Yeah, probably, but uh, I want to heal. want to practice healing. Are we switching specs out here? What is that? Out oh, where? It's pro a good tank right now. Uh, they're pretty good. They're very high octane offense, so like extremely good single target as well, which is kind of wild. Is the tank Jesse? <laughs> right, its name is similar. Are you holy? I thought you were making a switch from blood to pra. Oh no. Just playing an alt. Well, I don't like to brag about my IO, but it's over 650 and I have the hottest britches. Just don't at me, bro. <laughs> I will make sure we do not at you. Yeah, we're going to fail to upgrade this, aren't we? Is the next raid going to be in the Maw? No one knows yet. 
We will find out someday. Probably like next week, I bet they'll have an announcement. I don't know though, they're still doing that BlizzCon thing, aren't they? When is that supposed to happen? I've heard of Ardenweald speculation. Man, I mean, what's the point in speculating? They'll announce it sooner rather than later, I'd imagine. It's not really something that has any valid speculation around it. Ardenweald something with the Night Warriors, gotcha. We'll see. What's this one here? Our storyline seems to suggest so so far, I guess. Uh, what else? It'd be cool if the consequences of Revenge Death allowed that anima to heal them all and restore it. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, that's possible, right? Okay, we barely got this in time. That's kind of crazy. Eight deaths only as well. I've had... 11s go better with more deaths. It's kind of scary. I'd still say Torghast is going to be a raid. Oh yeah, definitely. That, that'll be the end raid, I'd imagine. Alright, well we got that done. The other side is a tight key. Yeah, but I mean, they just added two minutes to it, right? So we had keys go better last week before they added the time to it. <laughs> ten, you know, ten levels higher. I mean, that's just fucking scary. I don't know how that's even possible. Like, if it wasn't for that two minutes, we almost would have failed to upgrade that. That would have been extremely close. Okay, anyway, the key is now... Mists three, that's gonna be a really tough one. Mists plus three. Why, what, what is all this? It's very annoying. Anyway, DPS was slacking. It wasn't really that bad, actually. I mean, that's not bad at all, really, for a two? <laughs> 3k overall, I don't know. Just terrible route. Dude had no idea what he was doing half the time. Look at that. I did 1.2k overall. Jesus. Uh, that is possible. Because um, usually in higher keys, people get more experience. So low keys are sometimes harder. No, I am. I'm aware. <laughs> Been around the block with pugging more than once. But I'm just surprised that it didn't... You know, we didn't have a lot of deaths. We didn't have any huge mistakes. It just didn't go great. I tried to finish in time the other side today for six times at six. It's almost impossible to find pugs that don't rage quit mid run. Oh yeah. Sorry to hear that. I really, I'm really trying to swerve these paladin tanks, man. This is literally, I'm pretty sure every single fucking key I do is a paladin tank. What is going on with that? Why is every key a paladin tank? Got roped into bringing this shit warrior too. Now we gotta definitely get a bloodlust and a battle res. Well, there's the bloodlust attached to a decent pick. So we'll just take those guys. Hopefully, we don't need battle res. What's wrong with pally tank? I just think holy paladin and pally tank are like a terrible combo right now. It feels like. I feel a lot more comfortable feeling any other healing any other tank right now. Anyway, um. All the demon hunters are doing tens and up. I'm not. I don't necessarily want a demon hunter. Just something that's not a paladin. What are your thoughts in general about shadow priests? They have a like a aura that makes them like a darker shade of purple than any other spec in the game right now. Demon hunter is pretty meta. No meme. Oh, no meme. Okay. Uh, you are lucky you didn't get a demon hunter tank. Those are terrible in low keys. To be honest, you're probably right. Actually, I feel that as prop pally alt as well. Yeah. 
I don't know. I'd rather, uh, I think like Resto Druid would go really good with Prop Pally. <clears throat> they would enable them to not be so spiky. You know what I mean? I mean like performance in game, Lameo. Oh, I don't have any opinions on that. Yeah, I don't, don't play Shadow Priest. No thoughts. <laughs> oh, anyway, would you elaborate? I'd love to know your perspective. Would you or are you just trolling them? Either way is fine. Low key demon hunter tanks, all the tools to survive in the world, no brains to actually use them. That's true, yeah. They have tools, but they don't use them. A bad demon hunter is the scariest tank to heal. Oh, really? Well, I haven't seen enough of them, I guess. What is the best tank plus healer combo? I, well, for me, it's Blood Decay, Holy Pally. I think that's the best combo. Because they have enough to keep, like, you know, a little bit extra mitigation going in for the Blood Decay, and they can do so much outside of actual HPS. Prop Pally, that, or Holy Pally, that it is. So when I'm just out there solo in the pack as, the, as like, a tank slash healer, the Paladin's pumping big numbers, you know? What's the best healer for blood and high? Yeah, I would say Holy Pally, yeah. But Resto Shaman's very good, and they're pretty high meta right now, so it's good to see that. Uh, anyway, I mean, many people rolling Vengeance just because they read in some tier list that they're OP, but they have no idea to kite or use their utility. It's true. It's definitely not an easy tank to play, for sure. It's a lot harder to play than Havoc, and I think people conflate the two a lot. They think, oh, well, Havoc's got, like... Literally, they have a talent to remove one of their three rotational buttons, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, Vengeance is the opposite. You think Bear plus Resto Druid or Shaman? What's worse, a bad Demon Hunter or a bad Bloody K? Yeah, probably both, I guess. I mean, it, they both have the same potential to be really useless if they're not played right. For different reasons, though. I mean, kiting is not always to play. It is if you have a kite, yeah. Like, if you have an actual kite... And it's windy out, and you're in, like, an open field, then you want to kite. Like, why would you not, right? Um, but, yeah. That's just my opinion, so. I mean, you went there with a the fucking kite. Just use it. <laughs> like, what do you... Why would you not use this? I don't know. Lol, yeah. I feel you. I can understand why you would laugh. All right, anyway, we got Miss 3, dude. How do you feel about the meta for late keys has been about kiting lately? I mean, do you feel like the meta for late keys has been about kiting? I, I don't know what that means, honestly. So, I don't know. The whole kiting thing doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see it eventually, but I've yet to do a key where I needed, like, I felt like I needed to kite severely i mean sometimes yeah you got it right but not like every pack like people are suggesting i noticed so many pally tanks in low and mid keys oh really uh just saying i've been with some shit demon hour tanks that only kite and it's like come on dude i can't use an ability without pulling aggro <laughs> oh right like they literally just pull the pack and run how do you feel about warriors and keys do you mean like the golden state warriors or do you mean the class and wow the Golden State Warriors were very disappointing. I watched them on uh, Christmas Day, and that team does not look like they've recovered at all from their woes of last year. And Steph Curry did not. He was not impressive. But I'll tell you what. If I was impressed by anybody, it would be James Wiseman. I talked nothing but shit about that guy for his whole time at Memphis. And uh, I actually think he's a, he's a very good player after I watched that, that game yesterday or two days ago. Oh, you, you're talking about the class? Yeah, I don't think. I think Warrior is like probably the worst class in the game right now. Wiseman will be good. Yeah, I do think it. I do actually. I am agreeing. Uh, I used to not agree with that. I thought he was like overhyped and shit. But uh, now that I've seen him in the NBA level, he looks legit. Let's put it this way. I watched Zion, who was probably my favorite basketball player in the last five years to watch ever in Duke. Uh, and then I watched James, James Wiseman two, two games back to back, right? And all I could think of was like, wow, Zion does not do well in the NBA. And then all I could think of was James Wiseman. Wow, he's going to be really good in the NBA. So that tells you everything you need to know. Like, I'm spending too much time looking at college. Anyway, um, I feel high keys kiting is the meta because trash packs hit for a bit. Hit for a lot, isn't it? I think it's just mostly people are doing things faster than they should be. Like, they're just still undergeared for this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I have yet to do a key where I could not survive the trash. Like, and I'm not even playing very well. Half the time, I'm not even looking at the fucking screen. 
Kiting in high keys is vengeance is mostly because they can't survive without it. And mid keys kiting is about resources for the next pack. Anyway, kind of odd. I haven't seen any monk tanks so far in Shadowlands. Oh, really? What do you think about LaMelo Ball? I think he's definitely a lot better than... Everybody, like, hates on those those kids. But uh, he's, he's a very good player. He's, he's going to be somebody for sure. We'll see how much the family influences it, but... I play Brew and I'm loving it, too, man. Isn't chat supposed to troll, not the streamer? No, it's the other way around, yeah. You seen the 20 done? Yep, I saw it. I didn't watch it, but I saw that it happened. If Prot Warrior becomes good again, then plus Holy Pally is also a nice, good combo. Sweet. Brew is awesome. Do you play fantasy basketball? No, I don't really. I never got into the fantasy shit. I never really understood it. it it was like, if I wanted to, like, the whole idea for fantasy to me was just play a video game that allows me to play the sport. <laughs> I never really, like, the whole fantasy sports thing, it just, it doesn't actually feel like you're doing anything, you know? It just feels like a more complicated betting structure. In here, Metro is the queen of trolls. He does it so good. Viewers often don't know that they're being trolled. That is definitely the case, yeah. Uh, how crazy is it that people are doing 20s? Yeah, not, not really that crazy. As Guardian, the only hero that I get tense with is Dispriest. Yeah, I mean, I've yet to hear anybody say they really like Dispriest <laughs> as a tank. I don't know. Feels like it's kind of a weird pick right now. I didn't realize I was watching your stream like 30 minutes behind. Yeah, I thought so. Azrae, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Got to make that live button red, yeah. Like, we wipe in 12s to a single... Oh, that's, that's true. I get you there, for sure. I'm not surprised that people are doing it, because that's always been the case, but I cannot imagine myself doing it. You're right about this week, especially. Like, you literally can't fucking kill a prideful mob. I've lost 1v1s to prideful mobs, or 5v1s to prideful mobs many times already this week. I just wanted to get Keystone Master and take a break. Yeah, that's a shame. You want to play the game. You want to rush to get... You want to rush to quit the game, huh? It seems strange. Why would you want to do that? This week has been rough for Disc, but the first two weeks, Holy and Disc are terrible. Oh, really? No hunter in the team? What? Correct, yeah. You can only bring five players, so... Hunter doesn't really bring any of the, lo, these low keys. I'd rather stock up on utility to make sure we have everything we need. Glimmer or Virtue? I still can't decide. I definitely prefer um, Virtue, yeah. It's just way more fun. Vengeance, Restor Shaman, 3 DPS. It was like, um, I think it was Fire Mage, Affliction Warlock, and something else. Rogue, maybe? Yeah, they definitely have a Rogue, so... I might be wrong about the mage part, but definitely have affliction lock because I met everybody was. I, I don't know. These people like are very confused. Like lock is a very good pick right now. I feel like right. Like does anybody disagree with that? And there was like people saying like lock's a terrible pick, and then somebody was like, meanwhile they're in the top, <laughs> the the hard the hardest key that's been completed. It has a affliction warlock in it. When my team has a disc and it's been slapping 14s. Each penance ticks removes Grievous. Nice. Um, hey, finally could get some time off from that 50 mount Polonaise around the Maw and Oribos. What's this? Welcome, either way. Warlock is terrible. That's why it's so good, yeah. 
It's a good point, actually. Oh, we actually lost it. That's interesting. Looks like a one phase. Good to see it on a three. What do you think about Rep Pally and PvE? I quite like it, yeah. I think they're still very good. I would say Affliction Lock is good in high keys, but low keys they don't shine. Yeah, I could agree with that. First time here, easy. Uh, but would you run Beacon of Faith or Crusader's Mike? Well, listen, I don't really play this spec properly, so. What was your question? Crusader's Might. Beacon of Faith. I mean, yeah, Crusader's Might does seem very useful for five mans, right? But I like uh, Beacon of Virtue. Beacon of Faith's like a raid talent, right? To my knowledge, I don't. Oh, Bestow Faith, gotcha. Yeah, no, definitely Crusader's Might. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Which way did it go through? Fuck. To the left. Hey, Martin. Been watching a lot of your videos and your streams lately. Love the content. Keep it up. Has been helping me a lot to improve its DK. Greetings from Norway, too, man. Well, I appreciate all that. Glad to hear it's helping. If you have any questions or need anything, well, let me know. Shaman's handling it. What do you mean? The Blood Death Knights. This is just a very low geared alt that I'm fucking around on. Uh, nice. PvP? Oh, never. No, I don't like PvP at all. PvE all day, that's all you got here. Can't stand PvP, honestly. What's your eye level on this Paladin? 185, actually, apparently. Oh, yeah, because Sarah sent me that trinket. Why do you like PvP so much? Just think it's terrible, honestly. Don't like anything about it. Doesn't feel like WoW. No you. Uh, PvP is stupid. The whole meta change. It's just not like well made at all. Like I don't know. Let's put it this way: if in PvE. If there was a raid boss where 90% of the time you were just running, like the, the, the target that you were trying to fight was just running away from you the whole time, nobody would play that either. Like, you know what I mean? It's just just not not good. Arenas especially. I like the Battlegrounds a lot. Like, they're cool. And I'm sure I would like raided Battlegrounds too, but Arena is just not wow. It's not how the game's supposed to be played. Me and my friends play Bloody K, Affliction, uh, and Disc Priest. We usually pug our other two DPS. We're still learning, but do you think it's a good comp for high keys? I don't. The comp doesn't matter. I mean, you're not. If you have to ask that question, you're not going to do anything that you need to be worried about comp for, so. Not sure where all that damage came from. Had a lot of success with Bone Shield. I'd love to slap a button on big poles and feel invincible. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? You may be confused. About more than one thing, it sounds like. Uh, given this is your alt, are you enjoying Holy Pally? Yeah, I, I, I really like Holy Pally was my main for a very long time. So, What is this shaman doing? I think he's running around doing the thing, honestly. I said this for years. Arena was probably one of the worst things to add to the game. Pretty much, yeah. Almost everything that came out of TBC and Wrath were all like some of the worst ideas that have ever. Like the fact that they're still in the game is not good. You know what I mean? Flying, fucking heirlooms, LFR, all this shit that came out in these early years. It's just not. It's not good for the long term of the game. 
Uh, I think he means Bone Storm. Oh, maybe. That's probably what he does mean, yeah. Let's hope so. But yeah, Bone Storm's just not really something you could run in high keys, especially as non Venthyr, because you don't have a hundred and some resources to, to generate in that period of time. I think you would. Oh, I will, yeah. A Resto Shaman is going to be played this season, too. I was kind of just biding my time on Holy Pally. I didn't really want to play Holy Paladin. I just wanted to heal. So. Now that my Shaman's max level. Yeah, Kata, yeah, I know. Peter. But it was actually added in Wrath. It wasn't, it just wasn't, like, properly done until Kata. They announced what they were planning to do with the LFD system, which was Wrath. And uh, it just didn't materialize until late Cata because they ended up reworking it. Beware. Holy Pally, top combat healer in Shadowlands right now. Top combat healer. I don't, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff, man. Sorry. If you want to have a chance to get a specific item in the vault, do you have to do the dungeon? No, that's not how it works. It's any dungeon in the vault. What covenant would you go on your resto shaman? I already I already went Venthyria. Yeah. My character is 60. I leveled it this week. Tomorrow we're going to be playing uh, two-handed enhance in Torghast. Do our first Torghast challenge if you guys hadn't heard that announcement. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that because that'll be interesting. Okay, I see. Most of the time the pack dies within the uptime for me, but I guess that... No, definitely not. It, it doesn't even really matter. That's not why you wouldn't use it. Like in... More dangerous scenarios for Blood DK, every point of runic power matters a lot. So using Bone Storm is not like the best efficient the most efficient way to heal yourself most packs. So you'd basically be taking a talent that you'd only be using on maybe like a third of the combat. And that is just really inefficient. Venter is so good strong. Like Omega buff Divine Toll on a slightly longer CD. It's definitely a lot worse than Divine Toll, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's, yeah, now that I think about it, it's basically just a worse Divine Toll, right? But it's still really cool. It's kind of how I feel like, you know, like Resto Shaman's actual healing kit kind of just feels like a worse Holy Pally in a lot of ways. But it's not the actual HPS that I worry about with Shaman, it's the rest of the kit, and that is knocking it out of the park. Which, ironically, I feel like it's been knocking it out of the park for four expansions now, but... For some reason, everybody was always down on them. Faria is running Purgatory instead of Red Thirst. Yeah, that's I, I can see that for sure. But he's also Venthyr, so... He's also not using the Legendary, so that makes Red Thirst a lot worse. Uh, Divine Toll has to be probably the single most impactful covenant. In five man, definitely, I don't think. Well, I mean, like, you know, wild spirits and shit from Hunter is pretty crazy, but for the most part, it's, uh, nothing. Nothing else even competes with it. It's mainly the added utility of AoE Silence. 
Are you talking about for prop alley? Yes, that definitely exists. Oh wow, we're gonna triple upgrade this, I just realized. Huh. Does that include Grievous now? Oh no, spiteful, good. Alright, let's do the six. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a trinket. Oh wow, that's pretty good. That's that thing that came as I was complaining about. Interesting. Okay, we now have two intellect trinkets. Perfect time to do the six. Big, I agree. That's a big trinket, is it? It gives haste or something? He said it gives stats based on something else, right? What is that? <laughs> I remember we say, like, I can't wait to blah, 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 so then my unbound changeling could change into a, a shard or something. That's huge, is, is it? Your abilities have a chance to grant you 244 haste for 12 seconds. Nice. Can you shut talents real quick? Sure. There you go. Very niche, but very good. You have to eat different food. Oh, yeah. Give stats based on your food. Oh, gotcha. Is prop pally healing so broken it's preferred over holy pally from mid the keys? What are you talking about? Instead of a healer, you bring a tank? Is that what you're suggesting? I don't think that's going to be the case. Hey, Metro, you healing again? That's correct, James. Yes. You're right about this. Okay, we'll do this six now. Uh, Plo Plagueful. Interesting. How am I doing? Type in. There's no typing here. Oh, Pyro. This would be a big step up, but as long as there's no Grievous, we'll be fine. I will not be doing a 7. <laughs> I am not doing a seven. I'm gonna run the bathroom real quick, they'll be right back. I'm uh, back. Okay, we got... Oh, just kidding. We had some things that were interesting, but... No longer. Hey. Man, there's really nobody in this queue. <laughs> Does MDT work again? No. I mean, I don't... I don't know. I don't know why. What's happened? What makes you ask that? Want me to tank for you? Sign up if you want. I'm not going to say yes or no, but if you sign up, 
we'll see. Really, just can't. Paladin is just too... Brings too little major utility to invite other classes that don't also. Uh, the author made MDT update Patreon exclusive. Yeah, that's correct. I wasn't sure if I missed something today or something like that. How's raid prog going for you? Pretty good. Yeah, slow, but I'm satisfied. Man, there's just no players. Anyway, you guys going for a Mythic Hunts in Prague? Or I'd like to clear Heroic first, yeah. FYI, a free MDT workaround has been released titled Man Baby Dungeon Tools. Yeah, that's correct. I can't believe how few <laughs> quality applicants are. It's kind of crazy. What is 480? Is that done some relevant keys? Rogan priests do not help me here, though. So that's good. We have an unused trinket now, but we don't actually need to be too concerned with that. And we have one that's not unused, so that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Uh, is that Dark Moon Trinket trinket worth buying? I have no idea. I'm not even using it properly. Just got given it basically. I might be starting a fire here, but it is totally unreasonable to make payment for something that you, but is it totally unreasonable when the game is your job? Yeah, just check out the video. You're missing a few elements of that. I understand why people would say that about it, but you're just misunderstanding what's happening. I think to, for that claim, for that statement to be made, it's like you you don't have an understanding of what the topic actually is. Well, I don't know. I'm really not trying to do this with like some joke comp. That's okay. Pretty under geared. Honestly, if my gear is catching up to anybody, then that's not good because I've literally played this character like 10 hours total, but at least we get battle res in the tank slot, which is pretty useful. Now we just need a bloodlust. I bet you smell delicious. Who? I'll go check it out. Just made an assumption based on the headline. Yeah, you'll want to look more into it. It's definitely a very complicated situation. Let's put it this way. It's not about money. That's not why any of this is happening, and that's not why this conversation is happening either right now. You. Oh, gotcha. Uh, what is the group add-on next to your week or is it's a week or yeah it's a I think it's called like Raider IO week or something I don't honestly I don't actually know well that guy's like quite qualified but we can't bring fucking three paladins okay we just need to uh, lust now there's our man kill Jaden sweet let's rock him sock him 
What is your strategy to pick pugs? What class do you pick most? I actually have a whole video on this. Uh, it's from back in BFA, but it wouldn't change. Nothing would have changed here. Wait, did that guy not accept the invite? No. Oh. The fuck is this? The guy's name doesn't even show up. But yeah, long story short, just try to find a comp that works well for you and capable players within that comp. Like for me as a holy pally, I need I don't bring any major utilities, so we need to have lust and battle reses around me, you know? Which is not great, like definitely not ideal. Both druid and shaman would bring way more with that in mind. But for Blood UK it's a lot better because I bring a major utility and around me is a it's less important, let's put it that way. Alright, we just need a shaman here, or maybe a mage, I guess. It'd be great. <clears throat> Feels weird being back. Streaming again. I said three days away from the whole grind, and it feels like I've never played it before. Uh, yo, so you've seen the DPS charts for Holy Pally and Raid? They're kind of insane. Holy Pally? I haven't really looked, honestly. I guess a little bit of a gamble, but he's really geared. I don't know how he's so geared and he doesn't do any keys. Let's take a look. I've seen Prop Pally. Like beating tanks? Well, that's not abnormal. Nothing new there. Uh, let's see, Huntsman. I always go Huntsman Heroic to see what like the the, the good average is. Like, not people like Mythic and shit who are just there to parse. Okay, let's see. All classes, all healers, DPS. I mean, uh, it's not even... Here, yeah, we'll look at it on stream real quick. Not as conclusive as you might think. So, I mean... You got a resto druid who did within a hundred DPS of the top holy pally, and you have a resto shaman who did within two K DPS. So looks like it's pretty balanced right now. A lot of shamans. It's good to see that. Well, oh. monk as well. Let's see what the spread looks like though from this damage breakdown. I mean, they're not even using offensive anything. It's just holy shock and judgment. That's it. Nothing special. Oh, he's still using unbridled too. Jeez. Cool. Yeah, nothing special there. Prop pally is the crazy one. If you haven't seen this, take the take a look at this. You're gonna be fucking. You're gonna laugh your ass off when you see this. Look at this. There's some bears in there too, which I'm surprised by. But so and now look at the number. Fucking 4.4k DPS. Are you joking me? Like, okay, so now really quick. Running, running out of time here. Reports. So look at that guy would have been above everybody else on the encounter except for two players if he was in our raid. 4.4k would have been doing almost as much damage as Rick. That's the crazy shit. Heliger Shock Hyena. <laughs> That's the crazy shit. Prop Pally is crazy. It, it, that Prop Pally beat every one of these players. You know what I mean? That's just nuts. Doesn't even make fucking sense. I mean, really, you'd have to go down into, like, top 10 before he isn't beating most of our DPS. Do you need bro? Need bro what? Look at that guy. That guy was like only sixth in their whole raid, but he still beat all these DPS. And it's again nothing. It's just nothing. I mean, literally. I mean, I guess Ash and Halo is doing a lot, but it's just judgment and hammer wrath. That's it. It's nothing special. Spec is pretty crazy. Single target. 
The bear one, I, what is going on? The bear one, I need to take a closer look at though, because I, I never actually look, but I still don't know why bear is doing so good single target. Everybody I talk to, bear's single target has been looked at as low, so I'm surprised that they're competing. I think most of the pallies are doing Ash and Hal Halo, Hollow. No, I'm, sh I'm sure they are, but that's not So I was saying. It's nothing special. It did a fair amount of damage for a Covenant ability, I guess, but it's still not more than any of their other spells. Maul, Prox, Invoke. Inconvoke, Inconvoke. Look at the Lego the Paladins are playing. No, I know that, yeah. I'm just saying it's just basic skills. Like, you know what I mean? There's nothing special to it. Okay, it's fucking mob, man. I really hate this dungeon for that reason. This stupid area that it's in is like constantly aggroing shit. It's the only dungeon like that. Okay, well we get to see another chance at Plague Fall here, but this is gonna be non-prideful, so it's gonna matter a lot less. Thought he might be a Pharaoh Druid. They're playing Bombkin Af. Who? Well, at least I finally have all intellect gear now. It's gonna it's gonna make a big difference. Uh, Pharaohs are pretty hot at the moment. Disagree. But it doesn't matter. We just need the battle res. I don't care who's playing what in this group. Just need a battle res, extra battle res, and uh, got the lust, so. <sighs> what UI add on do you use for Bloody K? None. I don't use UI add ons. We just talked about that earlier in the stream. I feel like they are not worth using. All right, so this will be our first real key on this character. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, Bombkin Affinity, I get it. Those high DPS Guardians are playing Balance Affinity. So you mean they're not even in tank form? Is that what you're suggesting? All right, he's got Blood Drinker. I don't know what I expect when I invite Blood Decays to sixes. I mean, I've done plenty of keys to Blood Drinker by accident, but... Like, I'm just asking to not be happy. No matter what, the guy's... If he's doing a six, he's probably not going to live up to my silly expectations of him. Oh, what is that? Holy shit, look at that. That's a nice update. Shows how long the mob has until it dies. That's fucking cool. That's a nice little thing right there. Just did 10 play fall with the fucking worst route I've ever seen. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what happened. Ryan thought we were doing a genocide run. Oh my god. What update? Plater? It looks like it's been updated to uh, add extra info to the spiteful nameplate. Maybe UI add-ons isn't what it's called. Health bar add-ons. I like how your runes have timers in them. Oh yeah, that's all weak cores. Those are just weak cores. You can get those in the description. I do need to make a new video on it though. See, it shows you exactly how long you have until it dies. Pretty cool. Pride for way before first boss. The trash after second boss to the third boss, like 70% of it. Just pain, goddamn. Sorry to hear about your pain, my friend.
Should really try to interrupt underground. It still doesn't say who it's fixating on, though. That I would have preferred. Oh, maybe it does if it's on you, though. Because I've yet to have one on me, I guess. Okay, so we're at 10% now, so we're definitely not getting 20 before the boss. Or we're definitely not getting 20 for the boss. It seems like that's not going to happen. It, it's crazy how much, even though this is way harder than the two we just did, if the group is so much better than that group, so it's just so much nicer. Can't actually stun that? Oh wait, you can? I'm confused. The mob is stunned and it's still casting. What is going on there? That's strange. Oh, that shade was on me and I wasn't moving from it. So yeah, there's still no indication that it's on you. That's surprising. I wonder why. What's the paladin doing? Oh, can't blind him. Okay, they're spending way too much time thinking about these prideful mobs. Uh, on mine, there is eyes above my head. Not sure if that's DBM or not, though. Uh, that's probably just what it looks like by default, yeah. I'm talking about on the nameplate. Uh, hi, I'm new to tanking. Your channel has helped me a lot. I just want to say thank you. Sweet. Glad to help. Oh, I just realized that they overrode my colored nameplate thing with this update, it seems. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world. I definitely didn't like that, though. I was definitely getting used to that. Hey, Brett, what's up, buddy? What's your favorite best legendary power for Blood DK? I have a whole video on legendaries for Blood. Check it out. Right now it's uh, Brindauer's Might. Yeah, so we'd be. This would be a terrible split. 20% in the middle of these mobs would be so useless. Oh, snap, for real? Let me go check that out. Yeah, it's been live for a while now. We made it that first week of the expansion when I was unsure what was going to happen with uh, Mort Regarn's ship. Yeah, this is actually a pretty big deal, though. Maybe it's just my... Oh, you know why it's not on my Paladin? It's probably because it's character-specific, not account-specific. I swear YouTube never lets me know when your videos come out. Well, this was a while ago, so... Can you see damage text for other members of the group? No. You're talking about with this classic add-on thing? It's only for my damage report. You changed the colors of your abilities on purpose? Correct, yeah. I like it. I like it. it makes it look nicer. In my opinion. Fits with the Kyrian theme, you know? The blue and what the blue and yellow. Miller, welcome. Alright, here we go, boss time. Definitely have to take a little bit more respect for the boss's actual mechanics on this key instead of what I've been doing, just like going full offense. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best, best healer, healer for, for Mythic, Mythic Plus? Plus? Uh, Blood, Death, Blood Knight. Death Knight. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Welcome. Thanks for becoming a part of the Blood Pool. A drop in the pool there. I appreciate that. 
Oh, right, I could turn evil. I forgot all about this. I need to do that. Are you Metro? That is correct. That is me. Welcome. Alright, that went pretty good. Okay, so let's see what this guy does. Already a very bad split for Prideful, but... Yo, it's Flag Spin. Okay. Don't recognize the name, but welcome. Twenty one K Pog. That's it. Definitely better to spell that. I keep forgetting how dangerous that is. Uh what boss do you reckon you've had the most wipes on this expansion? What, five mans? Probably that one actually. Glob Grog. Oh, channel subs, yeah. Yeah, we we're at 21k now. I think probably just shy of it still, but YouTube rounds up as long as you're within the last 50. We talked in Discord, Metro Boom. That is probably not me. <laughs> not sure what you're talking about, sorry, ma'am. No, I try to run over the prideful. Or the spiteful. That was not a good idea. Okay, so we're just going left here. I feel like if you're going to pull a significant amount of trash in this area, left is definitely not the play. A lot harder trash, too. Count is less dense as well. Uh, if coordinated, blowing up the canister, oh yeah, absolutely. I've never really done it myself, but I've seen good results. God damn. That disease is really dangerous. What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? Are you serious? You're just like backpedals, like runs into a pack and then backpedals at the last second. Uh, it is nice, but everyone needs to get out or die. Oh, right. Yeah, obviously it's risky, but I think it's pretty obvious. Most people are likely aware of that. A very methodical approach to these packs. It did not do very much damage at all on this low key. Maybe it would do more if it was higher. I assume it definitely would, right? Barely did like 20% of the mob's health, I feel like. Maybe it did slightly more than that.
Uh, I think the barrels burst, then tick more. Oh, do they? That makes sense. Yeah, that's probably it. You guys are right. That's how inexperienced I am with them. I didn't even know that. Oh, you can just stun them, huh? Okay, well that was that would have been 40. So that actually isn't a bad split, but it doesn't matter because the first one's so bad that everything else is kind of moot. It's a dot on the mob. It does do a lot. Yeah, okay. I feel you. I didn't realize it was a dot. Uh, it's nice to see different Covenant legendary builds being used among top raiders. Really shows Blizzard did a good job balancing these external powers. Oh yeah, like who? Uh, I agree with you, but I haven't really seen that myself, so I'm not sure what you mean. God, that does a lot of damage. There's a lot more than you'd expect it to, especially on a 6. This guy's like methodology here, kiting wise, or uh, pulling wise, has been very. I don't feel like it's very good, but I do think he's going to get away with it just because there's so much count needed in this dungeon. Even though he's taking a very kind of thoughtless route through the dungeon, uh, it does probably get, get away with it. At least from the healer standpoint, I hear so many different opinions. I want his BIS for different healers. Yeah, probably not for DPS, yeah. Okay, so I've seen a few people do this now. I guess it's technically the same count, right? No matter what. It's two mobs on the right instead of two mobs through the center. I think he pulled more than he needed to. That's what I'm saying. We'll see. Like, you know, there's a lot of... It looks like he did, for sure. But there's a lot of count needed in this dungeon, so we'll see. There's a lot that you can skip coming up. Same count. Mid can be difficult because of the bombs. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what would be better. The fact that you can't actually attack those from melee range is not a good thing, I don't think. Give him that freedom. Freedom! I think I've ever seen this take this long, though. That was a very bad use of wings. I don't know why I thought it was going to take that long. Yo, Braveheart, yeah. That was the that was the reference.
Need to get rid of these this week or especially. Oh, I'm almost out of mana. I didn't realize. 40% mana. How's that happen? Uh, what add on you use for healing and dispelling? This is voodoo and this is decursive. Healing is voodoo, decursive is decursing. Dispelling. They don't know you can pull them from behind there. Bring it up. No reason to. Unless we fail to kill them before the dude comes back, then there's a reason to. Which definitely feels like it might happen here. Shades on me. Yeah, it's definitely going to happen. I mean, how could you be? I don't know. That's like low effort shit right there, isn't it? Like, come on. Uh, do you use any mouse over macros? Not for this character, no. What eye level are you running at? Like 186 or something? 185, yeah. Well, we kill it, no problem, regardless. It's just kind of dumb. This guy's clearly not thinking about what the future looks like for his character. Why are people still on the last platform? DK just called you stupid, and then he did the worst. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Like, dude's probably new to a lot of things. And we're about to wipe here. Everybody else immune too, I guess. Huh? That's interesting. Holy Pally is cool damage dealer with Swator. Yeah, I never really played that game. What about for tanking? I use a couple at cursor macros, but nothing. Nothing mouse over now. Mouse over is pretty useless. Nowadays. I think he meant Shield of the Righteous. No, I know what he meant. I'm just fucking around. Welcome. To the channel. <laughs> uh, Shield of Righteousness and Ability, not Star Wars. I know, yeah. Is Holy Pally the new Disc Priest? Uh, no, Disc Priest is still there, yeah. You can still play Disc Priest. Why is Mouse Over useless nowadays? Because you don't need it. I don't know. What, what do you use it for? Why would you use it? Voodoo is just a better version of mouse over for healing and yeah I don't I don't I can't think of a reason why using a mouse over macro would be better than using a click through macro click through add on like voodoo Best healers in Mythic Plus use mouse over mostly. They don't use voodoo. They don't use add-ons like this. It's just preference. Both can do basically the same thing, right? But this gives you more keybinds, so why would you want less keybinds? Holy fuck. Wow, that was a lot of damage from that spiteful shit.
Uh, you use them so you can keep your primary DPS target and not have to tab back to what you want. Yeah, same way for this add-on. It's the exact same thing. It's just it allows me to bind mouse presses instead of actual key presses. And I don't see why anybody would think that's not the superior way to heal. It's the same thing in that fashion, yeah. Growl uses voodoo, but for mouse overs. That's strange. Why? Voodoo is absolutely the superior way. That's the way I feel about it, yeah. Doesn't even really seem like... It seems quite obvious to me. I've healed for a very long time, so... Maybe I've missed something in recent years, but... It's just, it's, yeah, it's way better. The only thing I could say is, like, maybe people who are, like, super high level just run out of keys with Voodoo. Like, they actually can't bind everything they need to Voodoo, but I don't know. I was wondering, because I have a problem taunting during certain enemies in a big pack. Well, that's not, yeah, I mean, mouse over is not going to help you with that. you want to just get better with, like, juggling targeting. It's not an easy thing to do as a tank, but once you get good at it, it's going to be, like, mandatory. It's all the same. I use Click, which does the same, just preference. How come many healers in Mythic Plus are Shaman and not Druids, like in BFA? Um, after the uh, assault on uh, Teldrassil, a lot of the Night Elves, like, died off. So there's less uh, Druids in general, I think is probably why. The Shaman's still, like, vibrant, like, Thunder Bluff's fine. You know, there's no issues there, so... I have to imagine that's part of it, but maybe, I don't know, maybe there's more to it. Do you like Shadowlands Dungeons, or you think they are boring? I like them, yes. Between those two options, I would pick the first. We actually have to pay attention to this because this stealthing shit is not getting stopped properly. So Mach doesn't use Voodoo and only has one mouse over macro. He said he likes being locked to target and move his camera. Yeah. Sure I'm There's a lot of different ways to play the game out there nowadays. Like that for everything, right? Like Nobody would ever recommend anybody swinging a golf club like Matthew Wolf, but nobody's gonna ever say he's not a great golfer, right? If Samok likes that and Metro likes his way, it almost seems like everybody feels comfortable playing in their own way. I'm not comfortable playing in my way at all, no. I'm very uncomfortable by this whole situation. Uh, not saying he's playing the right way. People play differently. Who, Matthew Wolf? He's definitely playing the right way, I'll tell you that. Just not swinging the right way. I don't have blind up, so. There's something technically that changed that flavor, that favors shamans for keys. I, I honestly don't think there is. Like, they were just slightly more HPS intense for a while. Rest of Druid and Rest of Shaman are, from what I can tell, almost unchanged this expansion. Okay, this fight will be hard for me. It's the bloodlust. 
Actually, you know what? It could be that the meta has shifted away from other Bloodlust specs, so it brings Shaman up up the ladder, but I don't really think that's the case because Fire Mage and Hunter are definitely dominating still. But if it wasn't that case, if that wasn't the case, I could see it. It's a good fight for a Paladin, honestly. Spell that shit and then get that shit out with Consecrate. Run around really quick, get that shit. Got huge flashbacks to Happy Gilmore using a pool stick in golf. Oh, yeah. That's against the rules. Looks easy. Oh, yeah. What, Holy Palette in general? Or? Why do they, like, attack me when I get close? What is the, what is causing that? That's not what happens on my Paladin, or on my DK. Something must be going on. 85, is that enough? I think we need, like, 89, right? Holy Pally is holy shit good, but bad man, you dig? Oh, I dig, yeah, sorry. I dig when I use Diglett. Otherwise, it's not a very accessible move. I see a TM, but... A little overpowered for many scenarios, so I try to avoid that in my Pokemon game. I think we went, what what, what, what ground move did we use? Horn Drill or something? Was that, no, that's a rock move, isn't it? I can't remember. That boss, I had problems with Pugs on it. Yeah, this is a good group for sure. They're actually good players, all, all five. And I'm starting to get in a little rhythm here with Pout, and I'm feeling confident now. Oh, he's got Pheromones. Wow, look at that, I just realized. Should have looked at this guy. Oh shit, don't stand in that. I'm gonna die to that now. Yeah, I'm dead. That does a lot of fucking damage. Let's run back quick. Well, that was a pretty big throw there, honestly. Just standing in that shit. He's got Blood Drinker. I assume there's no actual way to see what his covenant is, though, is there? Oh, he's fucking Kyran. Jesus. So he's like committed full single target with Bone Storm. Like, what? That is terrible. That is a terrible, terrible talent build for five mans, honestly. Including the uh, Covenant pick there. But it's only a six, so he's going to get away with it. And he's got Pheromones. Which, yeah, I to take that as Kyrian, it's like, what? Maybe he doesn't normally tank. Are you digging Virtue? I haven't really been liking Glimmer too much. Yeah, Virtue is where it's at for me. I, I don't like Glimmer. Raihorn uses horn, horn Drill, yeah. Horn Drill. I just don't remember what move we uh, gave out as the ground gym in my game. I'm getting confident now, and you're dead. Yeah. Well, I was confident in the healing part, not necessarily the don't stand in stupid mechanics part. Six minutes, yo, this might be a downgrade though. Don't think the tank knows to get aggro on these mobs and run away. Yeah, he doesn't. You can tell. Uh Bone Storm is actually amazing with Venthyr. Oh yeah, I would say that for sure. If I was a Venthyr Paladin, I'd probably use Bone Storm as much as I could. What does so much damage? Th these mobs do like a ton of fucking extra damage. Um, I don't know, there used to be like a buff on them, I thought. But anyway, they do like 
thousands of fucking damage. But they move fucking super slow. So they're like meant to be like hardcore kite, you know what I mean? Pin Philly trying to get my Guardian Druid up to Mythics. Ding 60 yesterday, been spamming normals. Now I can do heroics. Sweet. Yeah, I would just like this Paladin literally just did one round of zeros and that was it and went right into low keys. It's really good. Like, unless you're really trying to get like a ton done each week, what I'm doing right now on my Paladin is what I would recommend to everybody. Just get a couple keys done each week, and then eventually you're going to get so much good gear from the, uh... Oh, we just aggroed the boss, didn't we? Maybe not. Yeah, okay, good. Eventually you're going to get so much good gear from the cache that you won't feel like you're behind anymore. The one good thing about no Titan Forging is that it'll be a lot easier to keep alts up. Because they are devoted, right? It's a big part of it. What's the easiest final boss in Shadowlands Mythic Plus? I don't know. It's a good question. I never thought about it that way. Easiest final boss. I guess uh, Halls of Atonement, right? That one is... You're, you're always going to have Prideful for it. And as long as you interrupt or as long as you block the thing, it's extremely easy. Okay, could you get in me melee range, please? The other side easiest boss? Oh, I wouldn't say that, that's for sure. I've gone to 110 per week on my all, yeah. That seems like the way to do it, honestly. This guy is constantly not in fucking melee range of the boss when it comes up. I've been meleeed twice now by this boss. Beware. I'm dead here. Not even gonna try to get. It's either me die or somebody else die, and it's not gonna be me. Oh, we, we did have count, okay. Well, then it's an upgrade. But that's it, we're not doing no sevens. Like, I just got a lot of shit. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought he got all four of these pieces. He didn't. Sweet, all right. Well, the key is now in seven necrotic wake. So we'll do like one more. Let's go lower it. Actually, let's just pug something else. Hug into like a four or something, maybe. Actually, we probably won't be able to. Knowing my character, I will not be able to. Six keys are good value. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got a miss six, so yeah, you want to do it? That would be a lot more attractive than Necrotic Wake. Let's see that shackle damage. Oh, yeah, sure. Not great. Did a lot less than my blood than my uh, death and decay shit would do. We want a grievous healing metro. That will not be happening. <laughs> I'm barely able to heal without grievous. Okay, what's the? You gonna make a group? You're on U.S. horde, right? The situation with Pally would only be better if I could actually use the Alliance Charger. Because it would work so well with the blue and yellow theme. Do you think Enhancement or Elemental? I, I, I am honestly starting to hedge towards Enhance. 
they do very good burst damage. Now, Ellie does too, and Ellie does bring a better kit, but it's really not a... It's just I don't see a lot of people playing it, so it's hard to be confident in saying that, you know? If we're talking about in some kind of simulation, I do think Ellie's probably better. Has a slight edge, but Enhance is very, very good burst damage right now, and they bring about 90% of what Ellie brings. So I don't really feel like they have anything holding them back right now. As long as they can survive, which obviously uh, melee is harder to survive than uh, range, you know? This hue here. Uh, Ellie is really good right now. Yeah, they are. Ellie, because you can play Resto as well. Okay, well, we're, I'm talking about <laughs> what spec you're playing in that dungeon, not what spec you could play. I think I'll just go with Ellie since I'm going Necro, which is good for them. Okay, yeah, it's probably better for Ellie. Yeah. Another prop pally. Oh my god, we can't get him. Can't shake him. <clears throat> Uh, hey man, what add-on do you use to see all that info in the group finder? It's it's just a week or yeah. I can't actually remember the name of it, unfortunately. But yeah, it's like Raider IO uh, something. Just type in Raider IO week or. Nah, that gonna be. <laughs> I'd be too busy trying to keep up with the healing, honestly. As long as you've done the dungeon before, you'll be better off. The people I was being harsh on were people who, like, literally have not done the dungeon. Saw a prop pally tank in an 18. It was funny when he literally sometimes got one shot. I could imagine, yeah. Hey, man, I like your Bloody K content. It's I think it's cool. You play what works for you as best as Nyfei versus going Venthyr. I like Fey the best, but felt pressured into Venthyr. Yeah, don't, uh, don't feel pressured into it. Think of it this way, right? Did you feel pressured into playing Vengeance Demon Hunter? Instead of Bloody K? No. You play what you want and identify as, and then you do the best that you can around that. That's the same level that decision-making that you're making there with the class situation, or with the Covenant situation. You pick Bloody K, you pick Venthyr, you pick Knife A, and now you're a Venthyr Bloody K, or a Knife A Bloody K, and now you play the best you can, you know what I mean? So. And honestly, outside of, like, Kiting, I, I feel like Venthyr is overrated. Now that I've seen how much runic power I actually can generate, it's like I don't know if I would even want the Venthyr ability. Uh, other than the damage and the dodge part, I think that like you'd, you'd lose a third of why it's so valuable. So Unless you're taking Bonestorm for every key, uh, which nobody's doing that. Um, I, don't, I don't see it being as good as people make it sound. It's really good in a vacuum where you can guarantee use your death strikes like perfectly. But that's just not going to happen in most keys with most players. You pick Vengeance, Demon Hunter, Covenant. <laughs> Good one. Oh, sun's going down here. It's so bright out there, guys. I can't. I can't have this window open anymore. It's such a shame. I don't know what's going on here, but like the sun, is just always at this really harsh angle. So it's like right on my face. I can't really play like that. But it will be uh, setting soon, so we can kind of. Wait for that to happen and we should be better off. In the middle of this key, it'll be set pretty much. Actually, no, now we're back on the rise, right? December 21st was the uh, shortest day of the year and now we're back on the up uh, upswing. Get some blinds or a curtain. I have a curtain. That's what I just... <laughs> That's why I had the curtain closed and I try to open it because it's dark in the room now, but... Where are you from? I live in Pennsylvania. So we got winter here, but in the summer I have these open, I'll have the windows open, everything, like no problem whatsoever. But um right now it's kind of annoying. This window's fucking me, honestly.
It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I, I've heard people say that, but I don't. That's fucking so untrue. It's unbelievable. I swear, like where I live is like ninety nine percent of the day gloomy. Faye just feels the best. I think it feels so smooth and natural for for DK. I'll tell you what, it is so much more fun. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't actually played Venthyr. I think next thing I'll do is level my Paladin or my um, my uh, DK on Alliance and try that as Venthyr. But oh my god, is it so much more fun having to juggle those night face stacks? It's hard. It's a lot harder, a lot more complicated, a lot more work. But when you do it well, like if I just kept like a six to eight percent damage reduction on everything I was fighting for the entire pack, there's no way that's not there's no way that's not the best covenant, right? Like, come on. <laughs> not some one minute C D that gives you runic power is not gonna stand up to that, so it's like, uh, it's hard to do, but if you do it well, there's big, big rewards from it. Talking about identity, identity. so why Fey over Necro? Well, why not? Uh, Venthyr is not fun. I dislike it, really. I feel like my health spikes way too hard. Oh, really? Well, I don't know if that's... Why, would, why do you think that has something to do with Venthyr? I don't think that has anything to do with Venthyr. But if you're making, uh, no, it sounds like you're kind of just conflating two issues and that's not good regardless of if it's true or not. So yeah, you might want to switch, honestly. Like if you're f dissatisfied with things to the point that you're not thinking clearly about what they are and aren't doing, then that definitely is an indication that you should probably reconsider what you're doing. Nice sunlight, thanks. Yeah, it's it's gonna be bright here for a while. I'm not trying to turn the lights on. Prop Pally is strong. They appear strong in many ways, but I'm hesitant to say they are strong. Because they are very weak defensively at times. Let's put it this way. Do you feel like Blood Decay is strong or not? Depending on that answer. Like, that that answer will then fork into the next question. Let's put it that way. Yes, Blood DK is strong, gotcha. So do you find them to be strong offensively, defensively, or through their utility? If the answer is, obviously nobody's going to say offensively, but if the answer is not defensively, but through their utility, then you'll probably love Prop Alley and you'll find them very strong. But if the answer is defensively, then Prop Alley is just a worse Blood DK in that sense. They're going to bring less to the key in both defense and utility standards, but their offense is so potent that it could easily be looked at as a, a third utility, you know? Grip is mythic. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, most people look at Blood DK's, like, actual kit and be like, oh, that's just too valuable. You know what I'm saying? Nobody actually thinks, like, oh, man, they're so powerful. They're such a powerful tank right now because they could just heal. Like, not a lot of people feel that way, even though it's also true. So that's one of Prop Pally's strengths right now, is that they, they can do an insane amount of self-healing. But they're also going to get smacked around, just like a Blood DK. So it's like, the people who feel that way about one tank, and not about the other one, confuse the fuck out of me. I really don't get it. Metro in the mornings. Hey, what's up, dude? Not quite morning here, but yeah. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on Guardian Druid? They're a bear, which is really cool. I really like bears. Anyway, I never really felt tanky as a blood decay. I just know when to be tanky when it matters, and it feels the same way as... Right, they're, they're like I said, they're almost identical defensively, so... Um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot to consider is all I'm saying. I like the utility of blood decay. I feel like they bring a lot later in the expansion. Vamp blood legendary, I feel like it's going to be... Yeah, that is going to be a really interesting thing to follow the whole expansion. It's a bit too early to say it's going to be good or not yet, because you can't really use it properly. But if they ever do allow two legendaries, that is going to be an insane legendary. Like, holy fuck, that is going to have to get nerfed, right? Because that plus Red Thirst is just going to be ridiculous. Or that plus the Vamp Blood legendary is just going to be ridiculous. What's your current favorite defense conduit for blood? Defense conduit. Uh, the I, the Lichborn one? That's a defense conduit, right? I, I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> yeah, the, the Lichborn one is really good. And also the Dancing Rune Weapon one is solid, too. Mass Silence is also very useful, and later with more haste, Prop Pally will have good Shield of the right, Righteous uptime. They already have good Shield of the Righteous uptime. That's, that's not helping them. Man, if I imagine Vengeance with CD reduction for Sigils plus Fiery Brand, right, that's what I'm saying. I honestly think there will not be two Legendaries at this this expansion. It just doesn't seem like they're made with two. Like, I think they regretted doing it in Legion, even. You know what I mean? So I don't think we'll see it this expansion. No way blood isn't going to be preferred if we can use that legendary. Uh, also, I was thinking about making a prot warrior. Do you have any opinions on them? They're the worst tank in a resounding way right now, I feel like. They're just a weaker version of every other tank in every way. I have, I've yet to see something that prot warrior can do well that would be valuable. I guess the answer might be spell reflect, but I've yet to see anything big. Problem with shield, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The shield is not, the uptime is high, but it just doesn't give a lot. Is Glimmer not the way anymore? I have no idea, I don't. This is just an all, I'm just playing for fun, you know? Oh, that's unfortunate. Right as we lost. They're focusing now on bringing back tier set bonus gear. Yeah, that's true. I'd be interested to see what happens with that. Blood DK always had some very powerful tier sets. I mean, the Vamp Blood Legendary that we're talking about was a tier set from Cataclysm, so we'll see what they get. My Shock Buried is more healing than Glimmer. That's how weak it is in Mythic Plus. Oh, really? I haven't even really paid attention to that. Oh, that's my damage, of course. Shockberry is not very good, seemingly. So that says a lot. What's what else? When you play other tanks and one mob goes out of clean range, it feels so annoying. Oh yeah, it's non-blood DK. That's my point. Like you really uh, get used to that utility once you have played it a long time. You can actually see over the corner here. See that? You could literally see where she's going. <laughs> so we know exactly where she's going. I hope they make Mythic Plus drop some sort of currency. Maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah, who knows? That's a good point. I didn't really think about that. I'd like to see new legendaries as new raids comes out, or at least upgrades to the current ones. Well, there'll definitely be upgrades. Yeah. That much we know for sure. You can pull those ads through the wall, too. Oh, wow, really? Why would you want to? How? How do you do it?
Not sure what's going on with that guy. Bubble. No. Very bad. Anyway, I haven't seen any good prot warriors. That's what made me curious. Gotcha. Yeah, no, they're definitely not great. So this one is the one she went through. Okay, I'll actually have to do this properly now. Green leaf. Flower with a ring. Leaf with a ring. So it's that, that one with the flower. It's so dumb that you can't walk through these while Spifle's out. That's so annoying. So we got clear flower with the circle. Flower full with the circle. Oh, shit. Leaf would not a thing. Probably that one. Where? Yes, it is that one. Weird, I don't even consider wings like a big CD anymore now that oh, fuck. now that this uh, Divine Toll is doing what it's doing. I feel like Divine Toll is going to do more. What's going on? I feel like Divine Toll is going to be more effective than wings. There's no line of sight apparently because someone did for me and because of that I had Pry Fall in the last pack before the last boss. You mean you can just literally taunt them? Is that what you're saying? Oh, this is that thing Faxi talked about. Yeah, look at this. It's just a room with no, no maze. It's just mobs. <laughs> Any ranged spell. Oh, that's weird. wonder if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've Nawal, I've seen Nawal hug that wall, jump, and taunt. It's very weird. To try to get extra count, I guess. Curious. Okay, well that should be the last one, right? Just gives more control of Prideful. I mean, it doesn't really. Like, you're way over count if you do that. So there must be a play to make earlier or later that I don't know about. If she goes that way, then you can just get the first two mobs plus second pack. Oh, that's a good point, I guess. Yeah, just kind of saves time. It's not actually to get more count then in that case, yeah. That makes sense. No fooling you. Otherwise you don't pull the Yeah, that's probably the right the right way to look at it.
God, that was a lot of resets too. Some good damage. That one there. I wonder if I can bop people out of that freeze if they get frozen. I'm unsure. That one. It's so much nicer having intellect gear on, I'll tell you what. I feel like I'm actually able to properly heal now. It's kind of crazy. Ah, wow, just missed it. Damn. Why are you just keeping the boss over there? Not a release point. <laughs> yeah, we could summon, actually. That's a good investment of our time. Quite a good investment. We have to wait anyway, right? Mage dropping like a fly. I don't know what he got hit by. He must have got hit by the thingy. The shot, the, the what's it called? I don't know, bowling ball looking thing. The arrows that come up. What's that called again? Oh, 70 only right now? What the hell? Yeah, I guess that's what most people do is they don't try to get a count early. There's plenty of count here. I mean, you could probably get like 70% of your count all in this area if you had to. I don't actually know how much uh, the whole area gives. That would be an interesting premise to just get no count before the first boss. Zero. Like, literally just pull the two mobs in front of the boss and that's it. See how far you can get doing that. Hey, Bynum, what's up, buddy? How's it going, ma'am? How was your holiday? Oh, wait. Wow, they're really, uh, they're fast. Uh, the area is enough. I usually end up with 95. Oh, yeah, I know. I was wondering, like, if you pulled every single mob here, what would you end up with? There's a lot more trash than people realize, too. There's trash, like, over down here and shit. I just realized I probably never even changed my conduits either, huh? But I don't know how important that would be. I don't know anything about paladin conduits. Do you only aggro the flying mobs? If you jump, I don't know. The ones I pull aggro regardless, and it's part of the route, so. I wouldn't want to do this without having it part of the route if there was, a, like, you know, if it wasn't easy to identify why they were aggroing. That sounds like it would be really messy. But then again, the RNG shit in the maze has caused the 
the route to fail more than the bugs I've ever done. This is not actually a poison? You can't dispel that? That's strange. I was watching World First Miss 17, I think, and in this they were yelling, don't jump. Oh, interesting. Maybe they were joking about people jumping off because that's, oh shit. Put sack on the wrong person. I've seen quite a lot of like good players just jump off by accident in this area. Cotton's really good to deal with uh, Spiteful, though. Even if I get hit a few times, I can do so much healing on the move now, especially uh, in this iteration of Paladin, that I really don't feel like I'm locked down, you know? Just I don't have any way to slow them, so... If they get up on me like that, I'm fucked. Alright, this fight will be difficult, but should be fine. I think I would like Holy Pally again though. Now that it's uh, back to being like Holy Light is the main heal, I really like that. I don't know why, there's just something about it. I'm interested to see how it plays in raids. This fight is fucking easy though, holy shit. It's like no actual damage on the encounter. Well, as long as people dodge the shit, I guess, that's why. Okay, here's that marked prey, we can just bubble that off. We're not actually breaking the chain though. It doesn't actually stop them from targeting me, that's strange. It's probably a really good thing. Oh, what is that? Oh, a one-handed mace. I forgot we already got a weapon. So that's unfortunate. I should probably go back to uh, Prot now, huh? Oh well. Anyway, that is going to be it for the day, I think, guys. Um, shorter stream today. Sorry, I just, just kind of started late. I was a little indecisive about what we were doing, but uh, I got two of these now. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, um, we'll be back probably tomorrow. I don't... I oh, know I don't. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, be back tomorrow, one way or the other. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a uh, Torghast, the first Torghast challenge of the expansion. Something I'd really like to do more uh, in the future, especially. We're going to be doing two-handed enhancement in Torghast, trying to clear up the uh, floors there, trying to get as much soul ash as possible. But um, we might do some more DK stuff tonight or tomorrow night, so I'm just not sure yet. Um, but thanks, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a great holiday, and we'll be back uh, one way or the other soon. So. I uh, can't wait to see you play Resto, Sean. I think you'll be excited about how rewarding it is. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to play Resto, too. That'll be a while away, though, at this point. So, All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.